Hi, it's Sunflower. Today I'm doing a challenge I'm calling the Random Room Challenge. Basically, you build a shell of a house, you pick the room that you're going to be decorating in, and then you randomly generate what that room's going to be. So in this case, it's a foyer. Uh, there is some issue that I learned later that the uh, bb.move objects like make bigger is the same button as my transition seams in OBS. So in a minute here, you'll just see me redo everything I'd done, like right here, because I didn't have the footage. This room ends up becoming the bonus room. When I originally made the shell, I think I wanted it to be like a living family room area. So it's like kind of similar as it's like a hangout spot, but like there's not really any seating. It's really, it's largely a game room because I, as you can see, I literally, oh, I guess I haven't deleted the couch yet, but it doesn't, it doesn't stay. I learned that I did not have the room for both a bar and like a seating area, uh, but you know, that's okay. I kind of decided that, so like, I have it, I can't move the walls, and I didn't move the windows, for the most part. I did like, mess around briefly, but I think I put them in the same spot in the end. I allowed myself to move doors, mostly. I kept them all within the same room connection, but like, as you can see, I moved it like, uh, more into the middle of the room, or more out of the way or something. So, like, I mean, obviously each person could do it however they want, but that's just how I was doing it. I, I think this room I didn't have a transition issue with my OBS, but this next room that we're going to do uh, in, like, five minutes or something because I spent way too long on just wall decorations. Like, I just had so much space, but whenever there was actually an open spot, there wasn't, like, a enough space to actually fill it in with a wall. Here I think about for 20 million years about what sound system to use and then I went back to the first thing I touched. Which is a theme. I basically go back to the first thing I use every time. Basically the vibe of this room ended up just being uh, green and sports. So like I have a bunch of posters, although some a lot of them aren't sports posters, but like I kind of wanted uh, the vibe of a teenager, like posters everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there ends up being anything that lends that there's a teenager in this house, but it's okay. This is about where I start looking for a uh, juice thing to go behind the bar, but I'm so bad at finding everything in this game that I got really distracted making this little like pattern and then deciding it looked horrible. And then I still haven't found the juice, and I went, oh, fairy lights. And we're still trying to figure out what to put in that, like, corner, because I hate the little bit of wall between the windows. Anyways, we're back on track for our juice look. We found something. I almost used it, but I didn't want it to look the same, like, the whole way down, so I found that one instead. Um, and then <laughs> we spend our search for lights. Which I also wanted it to be green, because it's kind of the whole thing. And as we can see, I am really bad at using The Sims 3 camera. <laughs> Did I grow up playing The Sims 3? Yes. But I don't know how to use it anymore. I try to use right click to turn every time. I want to try to put like a, a light in that corner to fill in that corner that I hate. I ended up not finding anything to put there, but that's okay. We put a little poop instead. Now we move on to here and we get the laundry room, which also doesn't fit any vibe with the rest of the house. Uh, we kind of changed the layout for a bunch because I went, oh, I really want um, a sink. But it didn't really make sense where the current washer dryer is now. Also, I'm really sorry if you hear any like weird blips in the background. DaVinci Resolve just kind of does that apparently and I don't know how to fix that. Also, if there's a difference in quality, that's because I recorded, like, the first two minutes at, like, 4.30 in the morning. And then I started recording again at 3.30 uh, p.m., right? So, uh, this room ends up being very yellow and blue. Maybe 
most of the vibes do end up being color coordinated, which makes sense. You don't want a room with a bunch of different colors, because that's kind of weird. Uh, we just place a bunch of, like, <laughs> laundry stuff down. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say about this room. Um, there was a weird, like, I tried to hook up clothes to that to that hanger spot for a little bit. I think I cut it out because it was kind of stupid and took too long. Uh, <laughs> and also it doesn't even make sense for me to even think that would work because then you couldn't even use the sink. But here's when I try to, uh, well, okay, so we can see that this becomes a bedroom. But that was about where you could see that um, the I press the bit make bigger button didn't work. So there's some additional things in there that I don't think are included. Anyway, so we're in the we're in the bedroom now. Which when I was originally making this uh, shell, I was imagining it to be the kitchen and like dining room area. But uh, nope, it's it's a uh, it's a bedroom. <laughs> so I really want a kind of a a magical vibe because it's like in the tower looking part of the room, of the house, and like it has a bunch of windows, obviously then I had to use curtains, because, um, and what's more kind of magically than a canopy bed, I really wanted to use the, uh, the, what's it called, the, the magic stuff pack, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, bed, but I figured that made more sense in the room right above this one, so I was like, okay, if I get another bedroom, yeah. And, it's a, and it happens to be in that room, I'm going to use the canopy bed. Uh, here's where I try to put it on a uh, platform, because I thought that would fill up the space a little bit better. Uh, but I can't figure out how to set up the platform for my life. So I end up doing just that. I think it's kind of boring. But the other ways didn't really make sense, or would have taken up too much of the room. So <laughs> we're going to go with that. I spend way too long on a rug. I literally cut out part, uh, parts of my rug journey, and it probably saved this video like two minutes or something. I spent way too long. <laughs> a lot of it was just like on this rug and a different circular rug, just changing the colors. That was it. I <laughs> only changed the colors. Uh, but no, I was actually really upset that this was a bedroom, because there's just so many windows. And I didn't want to get rid of windows because I already built the shell and I wanted to keep it pretty true to form. And <laughs> unfortunately the diagonal windows don't technically have curtains. But uh, I don't think there was a good way to give it curtains. I actually don't like that rug. Now that I'm like looking at it again, I, don't, I didn't like that rug. I really wanted to use that seashell chair. Because I, <laughs> I was like, oh, magical like kind of fantasy vibes. But it didn't work out because I can't go to the vanity. So I really tried to put it in that corner. But I was like, that's stupid. So we move on. We try to put a sound system in. And I go, eh. And so we're just putting in decorations that someone would have in their bedroom. I also just remembered a separate issue of this being a bedroom. Is that it has a huge um, archway just immediately into the foyer of, of, of the house. Like, there's no privacy in this room from the outside or the inside. So, like, that kind of sucks, but what you gonna do, right? That's that's what the room gods told me. This was a bedroom. I spent a long time on the walls, too. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted, because I kind of wanted a fun wall that wasn't just a basic wall like I've done for everything else. Uh, <laughs> I think we do... Well, we actually might stay with the wallpaper, but it was either this or we went to just a, a plain purple. Because uh, I do like the half, like, I don't know what it's called, but half the wall kind of looks like it's made out of wood or something. I love those styles and I don't use them enough in this game. Uh, here I try to find a plant that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't take up too much space and just kind of still looks magical. I kind of going with the orange tree because it was the best I had. I didn't know what else to do. Um, I don't. This is just looking for decorations that I think look whimsical, and I choose shoes. Are shoes whimsical? Depends. I don't know. It's a dresser. Shoes go on dressers. Uh, then we kind of look around a little bit. That like whatever I just put down, the perfume, doesn't stay. Nope. 
I try to find something to put there because I didn't like how empty it was. By the way, I completely had just forgotten I made a laundry room. So I didn't even put down a hamper until later in the video. So, like, there's that. Sorry, I took a break for a second so I could make a meme. Uh, because I got another email f saying that in one of my classes, someone tested yeah. positive. I've gotten two of these emails, and they're both from the same class. So I made a little, a little Harry Potter. Why is it whenever something happens, it's always you three, but now it's, now it's, uh, why is it when there's an exposure, it's always this class, and that, it's stupid. Uh, but, uh, that's how I'm dealing with it. I mean, last, last exposure I learned, uh, I was negative. I should probably get tested again, because I am going home this weekend, but the exposure was literally, like, yesterday, and you're supposed to get tested three to five days after, so I have to wait a little bit anyways, and I am vaccinated, so it's less likely, and I probably wasn't in close contact, because only, like, eight people show up to class, and we do not sit next to each other. I was back to the build. This ends up being the living room. I almost thought about not including it, but the fact that I included a foyer in my little spinny thing, I was like, okay, I should I should include it. So we end up with a living room. It's really small because otherwise you'd be in the way. I don't know why I keep trying to put sound systems everywhere. I try to put it everywhere. Um, and now we're trying to figure out if I can put this little TV on like end desks. Found out I could. You can't put it on this, but that I figured that was the case. But I wanted to. I wanted to find out anyways. Not that you can actually see that experiment happening right now. Uh, maybe I cut it out. I don't know. Anyways, here's me trying to figure out what to put there because <laughs> this room is really empty and I don't know what to do. Um, also, I never remove any of the room types from the wheel, so theoretically we could have another laundry room. I built this little thing to house a, a plant. I think the one I end up with is a little like short, but I didn't really want to put like an outside plant planter, and I couldn't put another one of those there or whatever because it's uh, not quite long enough, if you know what I mean. So we just leave that one plant and we just move back over and try to fill in this area. This room ended up being orange, so we have green, purple, and orange and whatever the laundry room is. This room also suffers a little bit of the I have no idea what to deal with to do with the wall art because I feel like it needed something but all the walls were like so short or like I wouldn't want a picture directly behind my head on that uh, on that couch because like it would be on the diagonal of the stairs or whatever. So we just kind of mess around and just try to figure something out. Um, I kind of go for a diagonal painting thing there. Um, I really wanted to find those, like, collection of wall painting stuff that came with, I think, Paranormal to go on the stairs because I always liked how it kind of gets bigger on one side. So it looks like, see, like, there, like, I feel like it makes sense on stairs because it goes further down on one side. Ultimately, though, and also we have the curtains sticking up right there. Um, this is the nursery. Going back to the uh, stair paintings, I don't think I actually like them that there much. Oh, I don't think I like it there that much anyways. That was a classic case of me talking faster than I could think. Uh, this, I actually ended up making like the nursery and toddler room. So as they grow up, they can like just stay in this room. I realize now I should have changed the bassinet color because I end up making a very pink, purplish room and the bassinet color is yellow. I don't know why I chose that for the for the uh, toy chest, but that's uh, that's what we have. Um, yeah, and I looked at all the different bassinet options and I really kind of wanted to have a fun one, but it didn't really make sense, I think. So that's why I went with the basic, just yellow one. Uh, otherwise it's just kind of a little nursery. This is just a bunch of trying to figure out what fills in the space well. I probably think 
I could have made it a bit more interesting. Like, everything's up against the wall like that. Like, but it's also a really small room. This was actually supposed to just be a bedroom. So I guess it, like, kind of is a bedroom by being a nursery. So, like, it's basically only one room so far. That has been what I wanted. Like, what I originally meant it for, to be. So, like, plus. <laughs> I tried these, like, uh, butterfly things. Because I thought they were really pretty. But I didn't think they made sense in the space. So I ended up getting rid of them. This kind of made me realize that there's not a lot of, um, wall art that I think works for kids that I like. That isn't the, the, like, cats and dogs that, like, hang out on the walls or whatever, which is fine. Those are cute. But they get old. From here we move on to, like, lighting, which was kind of hard, actually, because I wanted to have fun little kids' lights. But a lot of them I either don't like or they just, there aren't that many, there just aren't that many kid-oriented lights. Like, this is cute. It's huge. Um, I do not like where I ultimately placed it. Uh, whoa, my, like, recording, my playback recording just jumped. Anyways, this is the bathroom. That was actually supposed to be a bathroom when I made this. So I actually cut out, like, <laughs> a small little portion where I stopped decorating to just celebrate. Like, Finally, something actually went right for me. I wanted to have a kind of a cutish child shower curtain because um, it's next to the nursery, but it also has to work as the, so far, only bathroom in this house, right? I was also, <laughs> shortly after this, I saw the hampers in the little, like, decorations, and I remembered here, yeah, I remembered that I have a laundry and thus, I actually have to put hampers places. I also just realized I never put a hamper in the kids, like, in the nursery. Uh, and I couldn't fit a hamper in here. Um, not without, like, being in a really weird spot. Or just completely redoing the sink situation. But I liked my sinks, so I just left it. And then I was going for a turquoise thing. I wanted a turquoise tile floor. But with the turquoise bath mat, it was just like a lot, so I just went with a ba I went with a, a white tile with some blue accents. Then we move over here, and we get a kitchen. This one I was actually really excited about because I was kind of worried that the house wouldn't be functional. Like this was my last actual room because I have that little foyer upstairs, and I was like, if this isn't a kitchen. I'm going to be, because I was like, maybe I should have deleted rooms from the little spinner thing, because then I would have had a functional house. But then it worked out. Um, I definitely celebrated for way too long, because I got really worried. Uh, this kitchen I actually don't like at all, though. Like, the layout wasn't good. So, <laughs> I tried so hard, because you can't put the the... Uh, counters together. So it just kind of looks stupid. They're all separated. And I tried really hard to make it make sense. And it doesn't. It goes... I don't know. I just hate it. Downstairs would have made more sense because I had that, like, rectangle or square part of the room. And then the hexagonal part was... or I think it's an octagon, actually. The octagonal part was going to be the dining room. That didn't work out. Once again, I struggled with lighting because that's all I do. Here, I completely forgot I turned off BB Move Objects. And I could not understand why nothing could go across from the door. I figure out eventually. <laughs> but it takes way too long. And it's kind of embarrassing. But And I spend way too long on these floors. Because I didn't... I didn't want to use the same wood as downstairs. Because I didn't... I didn't think I would like it with the coloring of the, um, of the kitchen, like, counters and stuff. And then I really wanted to use the vampire, uh, diagonal floors, because I thought that would, like, work. But I didn't like the colors with it, because I wanted to match the counters. Um, this is also kind of unrelated, but I realized I definitely should have made, like, talking points or a script with this, because I'm just... 
talking. There's, that's why there's this, like, the talking's really slow, and it's really, uh, and also because, um, I hear my voice, but, like, half a second after I say everything while recording this, and while I should just turn it off, I've gotten kind of used to it, and I think I might go crazy. Here, completely changed the color scheme, because I liked those walls with the little wood board thing. Um... I think this is about when I discover the BB.move objects issue, or not. (laughs) But I do remember a bin. I forgot the hampers, but I remembered the bin. So, plus one for me. And I thought about putting, like, a microwave and stuff places, but there's not enough counter space to do that, I think. I... And then you have the awkward corners where the windows are. And I'm like, what do I put there? And so I put, like, plants eventually. But they kind of look dumb there. But I didn't want to leave it blank. It would look really dumb blank. So, (laughs) I'm really sorry about this kitchen. (laughs) I think I tried to put a rug at some point. I don't think a rug makes it. It's just a bad room. Yeah. Um, And I wanted to put the pots... But that one was too big, so I found those pots eventually. And I knew that this needed some sort of artwork. But man, I didn't like any of them either. I just, it's a bad space. This is a cursed house. I don't think I liked really any part of this house. <laughs> and the shell was weird. But I wanted like a fun little kooky shell. So like at least I got that. But it's it's ugly. It's an ugly house. Actually... I do like some of the landscaping I end up doing at the end. That's probably the only thing I do like about this house. And now we're just doing little decorating things. I realize now, watching this back, I should have made the little table into a square table. So that lies kind of like flush with the with the window. But we have a circle one. Because the idea was it was going to be in the middle of the kitchen. But that... It would not work in the middle of the chicken. In, fr- in the middle of the chicken. <laughs> It was in the middle of the kitchen. You wouldn't actually be able to make anything in that kitchen. We put the little hanging plant. I don't even remember. Oh, we do put something over there. It's way too close to the right counter. But also, if you put it closer to the stove, you burn it. So, like, it's okay. It's okay. I think we move on pretty soon. I really hope we move on pretty soon. Because I, it's not good. Oh, there's a rug. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. I almost didn't pick to do this little thing, uh, because I knew I would not get, like, foyer. As we can see, I got a gym, but because I did the downstairs foyer, I knew I had to do this one, otherwise it's like, well, why didn't you do it? So, um, this is the gym. It's way too small of a room to be a gym, so all they have is a treadmill. Um, and there's that outside little patio thing. Um, which I didn't roll for in the end because I, I did did not want it to be like a bathroom. I didn't, I don't think I could mentally handle that. And I did decorate it, but it didn't show up. Like it's not in this footage because when I watched it back, I realized I forgot to, like, I think I brought the wheel back up before I decided that I wasn't going to do it. But then I forgot to put it back down in OBS so you'll, like, only really see it in the walkthrough that's about to happen in, like, two seconds.
So there's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'd love to see you guys do this as well. Hope you guys have a great night, day, or wherever you are. Bye!